Got the rings in the back. Are you serious? No, you're not serious. You're not serious. Where's the camera? I forgot the rings. Where are they? They're in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the truck. They're my bag. I'll go get them. Kind of, kind of important. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> May we bow our heads for our opening prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your wonderful promise that when two or more are gathered in your name that you are there in their midst. And so, Lord, we welcome your presence in a little chapel today. And I believe that you love a marriage, for it is the very picture that you've given us of our relationship with you. I also know at this time that I must humble myself because I cannot make two people one. I cannot tie the knot here today, Lord, only you can do that. And so I pray that your grace would now come upon Albert and Amy's lives to be one as husband and wife. And I pray in the few short moments that they have here together on this platform, that you would give them a glimpse, not only of their great love for each other, but also of your great love for them. For it is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that we pray, amen. Today, as we walk down the stone path through the serenity of the woods, we rejoice that two hearts can be joined together in a setting such as this. As the spires of our small cathedral reach up towards the heavens, so our faith reaches up to our Creator, God of the beautiful creation which surrounds us in this lovely chapel. Today we celebrate one of God's noblest creations, marriage. First sanctioned in that original garden called Eden, we implore his blessing upon us in this garden of hills, rocks, woods, and wildflowers called the Ozarks. Just as Jesus of Nazareth attended the wedding held in Cana of Galilee, we invite his presence to be here in a little chapel today. Today we understand the teaching of Paul, the brilliant spokesman of the early church, when he told us that marriage is a beautiful depiction of the relationship between Christ and his church, in which a husband must love his wife with the same Christ-like love, and a wife must love her husband with the faithfulness of the church for Christ. When this kind of love is present, the two, husband and wife, forsaking all others, become one flesh blending their lives together just as our little chapel blends so beautifully with this hillside. Now that was a term that may be easily misunderstood, and so for clarification, we turn to the pages of God's Word we read in 1 Corinthians 13. Love suffers long and is kind. Love envies not. Love does not push itself forward. It is not puffed up. It does not behave itself badly, seeks not its own. It is not easily provoked. Is not ready to suspect evil, rejoices not in evil, but in the truth, bears all things, has faith for all things, endures all things, love never fails. Now by faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. And today with this high and holy concept of love in mind, I would now ask our bride and groom to prepare to say their vows. Albert, as you have joined your hand, with the lady you've chosen for your wife. I now ask you to promise that you will love and cherish her, honor and respect her, care for her needs, spiritual, 
emotional and physical, provide the support and strength to face the difficulties of life, and to be true to her in all things for the rest of your life. Do you so promise? I do. Amy, as you have taken the hand of the gentleman that you've chosen for your husband, I now ask you to promise that you will love and cherish him, honor and respect him, care for his needs, spiritual, emotional, and physical, provide the support and strength to face the difficulties of life, and to be true to him in all things for the rest of your life. Do you so promise? I do. Since you have both joined your hands and your hearts in making these promises before God and this company, we accept them in the spirit and proclaim that you are now united together as one. <laughs> Now, rings are a beautiful symbol of the finest qualities of marital life. The purity speaks of a highly prized quality concerning what Jesus said, happy are the pure in heart. The enduring nature of the metal speaks of a heart's desire and their relationship shall endure throughout time and eternity. Rings may exchange during the course of history as symbols of these special qualities of joy, commitment, and devotion to one another. Albert, would you please take this ring and place it on Amy's Tan, and as you prepare to say these vows, I, Albert, I, Albert, give you Amy, take you, Amy, <laughs> this ring, <laughs> this ring, as a symbol of my joy with you, as a symbol of my love for you, uh, my commitment to you, my commitment to you, and my eternal love for you, and my eternal love for you, now and always now and always. Amy, would you please take this ring and place it on Albert's. Tina, as you prepare to say these vows. <laughs> I, Amy. I, Amy. Give you Albert. Give you Albert. This ring. This ring. As a symbol of my joy with you. As a symbol of my joy with you. <clears throat> my commitment to you. My commitment to you. And my eternal love for you and my eternal love for you. Now and always. Now and always. So good. Thanks. And now having come <laughs> to this special place to say these special vows and having sealed them with the giving and receiving of rings, acting in the authority vested in me by the laws of Arkansas, and believing that God, our Creator, has smiled upon us, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> and now, now may we once again bow our heads for prayer. My Father in heaven, we thank you for the very special calling that you placed on Albert and Amy's lives to be one as husband and wife. And we thank you that what you have joined together may not be separated. And now as they go from this place to fulfill that calling, I pray that your peace, your joy, your protection, and most of all, that your love will go with them. For it is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. 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 Albert, you may kiss your bride. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if this is our song or not. I don't know why it's not playing. about forgetting the rings. And about the rings. He never mentioned it. <laughs> So 
handsome. And you look stunning. Aw, oh, thanks, baby. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Smack my own head. Do I just mess up my hair? Should we stop the music? Hmm? Should we stop the music and leave the chapel? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Go to the chapel. Tell the bouquet. Tell the bouquet. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh. Oh, take Casey, take it. One more. Oh, yeah. All right. Gorgeous. We're married. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and the music was so appropriate. Oh, Very thank you. Good. Picture of the rings? Oh, yeah. Can we get a picture of the rings?